Hey everybody, I'm Dan McClellan. I'm a scholar of the Bible and religion. And the fit today is a special one. Uh, this company decided to put me on some of the artwork on their website as Wolverine and they sent me a t-shirt and also sent me the images and said these are yours now do whatever you want with them uh, this is not a paid promotion this is not an endorsement of any kind of this company and you should definitely not Google them if you're at work unless you work in a really chill place um, but I might be making t-shirts of my own of this in the future haven't decided yet uh, but that's not why I'm here I am here to look at a video A lamb's blood is not literal anti-venom for snake bites. Uh, anti-venom is produced by slowly introducing venom to blood and then building up an immunity, much like you probably saw in Princess Bride. Uh, now, they used to do it with horses, but uh, the majority of people who were treated with this anti-venom would have adverse reactions, and there are also diseases that are in horse blood that can be transferred into the anti-venom. And so nowadays, they tend to use the blood of sheep or pigs and things like that, and there tend to be a lot more around, particularly in Australia, where this new way of creating this anti-venom was developed. Uh, so there's nothing special about sheep's blood and certainly not the blood of a lamb specifically. Uh, there just happen to be a lot of them around and they happen to be a handy and efficient way to produce an anti-venom that does not have as many adverse reactions, does not have as many of the diseases as the historically prominent horse blood anti-venom is. So this is misinformation. <laughs> 